Okay, so this is not our first time coming, so I think this is the third time. So for some people, this is their first time. Yeah. So we are here last month. Last month. Last month, last month, last month. Okay, last month. So our new participants. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, cool. So one thing that Power BI user group Lagos, I don't know maybe anybody have seen Microsoft Ignite programs. No, who have noticed Microsoft Ignite programs, conferences happening around, around the world now? Ignite conferences, who noticed? So Microsoft Ignite conferences are the conferences we do in different locations all over the world. So they talk about the Power Platform. And the Power Platform is very into three. We have the Power BI, the Microsoft Flow, and the Power Apps. The Power BI, the Microsoft Flow, and the Power Apps. So Power BI that we are learning, we are just starting. <laughs> yeah, we are just starting sincerely. So I'm already building Power Apps though, but the real thing is that, so what is Microsoft Flow? So let me just explain. So trying to automate some processes that you do repeatedly is Microsoft Flow is trying to stop. So you know that you receive some emails. It can work with anything Microsoft. So either you're working with Outlook, Excel, um, phone, anything. So you're just trying to connect one thing to another and everything just drops immediately. So who use rules and um, rules on Outlook here? Rules on Outlook. Rules. You do. So you don't just say that you just say anytime anything is coming, drop in one place or send it to. You know that that thing that you did is a flow. You get it? So that is Microsoft Flow for you. So Microsoft Flow is trying to automate a process. A process. So now let's now look at what Power Apps is. Now Power Apps are low code application. So what are low code application? You don't need to become a software developer to produce or to create an app. That's what Microsoft Flow is doing. Oh, Power. I mean that's what Power Apps is doing. So Power Apps is this. So I'm creating an app right now that has to do with um, registration. So I want you by way you are coming in, you don't sign anymore. So you just come, put in your this thing and you tick present, and you, are, you are in. But this is what I want to do. I want to create a Microsoft Flow that connects that thing every month. It just populates into our own database immediately. Are you seeing how it flows? So that is Power Apps for you. So Power Apps, you can actually create anything in Power Apps. So yesterday I was reading about um, this basketball, is it Lakers or, or some, I can't remember now. I don't even read on Twitter where they use Power BI to analyze. So they just start, you know, they're going to start a new season now for basketball lovers. They just start. So now immediately they release their timetables for their matches. Then they use Power BI to analyze how many people are going to come from now to the next 40 matches. So people think Power BI is about the visualizations. No, it's more about the analytics, not the visualization. Power BI is more about the analytics, not the visualization. The visualizations just beautify the analysis itself. So now you can look at what, these are the, these are we do our reports when we train people. We do our reports, these are we analyze when we train in Debra. And if you notice, if the real thing there is the analysis. The visualization just gives it the beauty. It just gives it the beauty. So perhaps you need to create anything. So the sales team are going out in a bank to bring in new customers and you don't want to wait till 4 o'clock till they bring in the names and you know those paper things that used to meet them now you don't want them so you don't want that process so what you do is this you create a, an app you give it to them they go they insert everything when they insert everything it drops into your own office in the way while you are sitting in the office all the database is already coming in power apps now there is one Oh, where I was reading, what they use Power Apps for is this. So their job is always have issues with language. So some are speaking Spanish, some are, so now the problem wasn't that they don't understand what to do. But before you even tell them what to do, they're having a problem with the language problem. 
So I'm talking to you. You can't even understand what I said you should do. The language is the problem. So what they did was this. They created a power apps that has to solve the linguistic problem. So the key words that I'm going to say to tell you to do something is what that language interprets and gives you in Spanish. So you see the whole process immediately and you know what you need to do. So have you seen how Power Apps works? So that is how it is. So now, that is Power Platform. But we are using one for the next, let's say some months, for Power BI. And you notice that Power BI is just new. And we are trying to make sure people use it. People use it. It's just four years old. So next year it will become five. So we want a whole lot of people to understand what Power BI is before even diving into the big analysis of them of how to use it. What is the advantage of Power BI over Tableau, Microsoft strategy? So now one of them is low cost. Low cost. Low cost. So now one thing is Tableau, Tableau, you have to pay a whole lot to use it, to use efficient. Now, apart from the payment, the visualization kills it more. The visualization kills it more. But Spotify has better visualization than uh, Power BI. Now, some of these BI tools have one thing over the other. Some have visuals, but they don't have analysis. Analytics, part of it. Some have analytics, but don't have visuals. But Power BI have been able to bring both of them high. So if you look at the quadrants, the quadrant for this year, you will notice Power BI is so high, that's beating Tableau, just using four years to beat Tableau. And Tableau has been since, I, don't, I can't remember. So you need to understand it. So imagine Power BI uses the same years of Tableau. How powerful is going to be? How powerful is going to be? So that is, that is Power BI for you. And Power BI is going aggressively to everywhere. So that's why I was talking about the Microsoft Ignite conferences. David will be speaking in Vietnam, Austria, that is next two weeks, about the same conference too. So it, it is it's big. Power BI is huge. And that's why we are going to create a community of users itself. So we are not saying you should just learn the scale. We want you to use it everything in every of your things you do with this. We don't want you to be just every time you come once a month, that is when you open your Power BI. No. We don't want that. So now that leads me to the next question. Who did that visualization with the last month data? Okay, one. Just some. Just some. So what did you what did you see in your analysis? Is there any problem? So 90% did not do. Okay. Yes. <laughs> it was too hard. It was too hard. <laughs> okay. So say something about it. I think I got from somewhere. Okay, where? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to um, the the data for the countries. Okay. And, and, and I could not send it the one. For the fact file. So I got from there, and I just left. You just left it. <laughs> oh, okay, so. Uh, so this one I did. Uh, I found that I just want to I'm just interested in the six countries. Okay. So I have to do some training. To make sure my six countries were what I needed. So I. How did you do your cleaning? Uh, I did uh, a filter day. Oh, okay. I just filled like, a filter day in the rooms that I needed, the country that I needed. Then also I knew what I wanted because there were some that contained plants. So when you're trying to match. Okay. So I found that there were a lot of plant space in all the other summits, making the data not to do. Uh, when you're visualizing, so I moved in, I was able to get uh, some beautiful, uh, what's it called? Visuals. Just on, uh, on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, too. Yes, yes, on LinkedIn. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, sorry. I don't know where I noticed. I've commented, but I don't remember. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, okay. Now, another thing is this. LinkedIn, Twitter, we are both in those two places. I'm trying as possible to post. So, I posted what we did last month. So our Power BI is ready for our pictures today. Yeah, Power BI is, I, I wish I can show you the pictures actually of our charts with Power BI. So Power BI is ready for our pictures today. So that is it. So if, let me understand that social media is also helping us for people to understand what, what we do. So my name is David too, but I'm not David Brown. 
I am David Abu. <laughs> so I'm David Black. David White is working. So we are trying to work. Yeah. So we'll be going. So what we'll be doing in the next um, 45 minutes before we go for our tea break is this. So we noticed that some of you might not have come last month. So what we did is we created a PBIX file on the user group. You say a file, a Power BI file. So just download that one. So for those who came last month, don't worry, just download that. So that one has everything that we did last month. So you just just not stress yourself. So just go online, download the Power BI, go to um, Pug user group slash Lagos, Pug user group slash Lagos, and download the Power BI file. But, okay, so let me let me go online to do it. So let's go to the website. Pog, user group. PBI, user group, slash Lagos. PBI, user group, slash Lagos. If the network is not working, just use your own to connect. It's just connected. PBI, user group, Slash Lagos, yes. User group slash Lagos. You see? No. PBI. You say PIB. <laughs> eh? Yes. Okay. Yes. There is Wi-Fi. So guests. Then this. This is the Wi-Fi. Here. So let me. Yeah. You don't need to. Don't worry. It's my own. Is it over? Shit. Well, I'm gonna break this thing. Internet you know? is not working. Hmm? Okay. The internet is not working. Okay. Just ask how many people are there. They should be yeah. So, how many people have connected to the internet? You've downloaded it? Okay. The password. The password. X. See it here. X, the big X, then G U E S equals to seven five three. Uppercase X, then lowercase G U E S equals to seven five three. Uppercase X, lowercase G U E S equals to seven five three. So you connect and go to PBI user group slash Lagos. So the name of the file, you see September, September Live Lab. September Live Lab. Yes. So what we're trying to do is this. If you notice, okay, for those who came in August, we did air transportation for 40 years analysis over different countries, different continents. Now, in September, what did we do in September, please? Who can remember? So, uh, wealth and health. So what did we use to represent health? Life expectancy. Then the wealth. Income. So we used income, per capita income, then we used um, life expectancy. So now, what we are trying to do today, who, who, can, who knows the analysis we are doing today? Poverty. 
So what do you think we can use to to analyze poverty? Yeah, poverty. Poverty. Per capita income. Uh huh. We can still use per capita income also. Aha. Uh -huh. So now, thank you. So those are living under one point two five dollars. Those who are living under one point two five dollars. So that is the data we are, we are going to use. So it has been downloaded already. You are going to see it too. You are the website. So that looks good. Yes. Yeah. No, you are going to see it in even in the, in the home. So when you see September, this one is. So, yeah, October. This is October is a size file. Yeah, so. so we are understanding our world, and we said that we will be talking about the top five dark strip um tricks so yes that so we'll still be working with dax we'll be doing some dax coding a little bit today so we're talking about top five and we'll see how we analyze and visualize them at the end of today so I'm trying to wait for everybody to download i already have my so, October exercise five. yes so you're going to see a PBI file, you're going to see an SSI, you're going to see a poverty file too, Excel file. So download both of them. So please, if you have downloaded, let me know so we can move. Flash, so we can help each other very fast. If you have Flash and you've downloaded it, just or if you don't, if you downloaded it, you don't have Flash. Let me know so that somebody that has Flash, we can collect it and we move fast. So you downloaded. Okay, cool. So that we can help each other move very fast. Okay, uh -huh. so just share. Have you downloaded it? Okay. 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 Hmm? Both of you have downloaded it. I have, I have you haven't? Just wait. You have flash. Give it. Then they did a neat flash to give to other people. Thank you. So we can move very fast. So if you are here, you are going to see free Power BI monthly October 19. So you're supposed to see this October 19 life life exercise file so you download it from there so what we are doing today is understanding our world with power bi so now you ask a question 
in September, August, we did air transportation. October, we did health and wealth. Today, we are doing poverty. So now, we are making our data big. So that we get to a point in time that we'll be looking at different indicators affecting different regions, different continents, different countries. So we're going to have a, like a mini dashboard that, that has everything that can analyze. And one of those visuals that can help us analyze this is what we call the key influencer visual. I don't know if anybody has used key influencer visuals. So now, it affects everything. So it's going to look at poverty, it's looking at um, income, it's looking at air transportation. So we want to look at, so does it mean that because Nigeria is kind of among the poorest country in the world, does it mean that we don't have more people who travel? Are you getting what I'm saying now? So we're going to relate air transportation and poverty together. So those are how we want to understand what influences what. What influences what. So now we're looking at health. Can we use health to also analyze wealth? So we're trying to see how all of them go. So we're going to build up to like six, if possible six indicators all over the world. They will now see how all of them affect each other. How all of them affect each other. And also I want to thank Lagos Business School for giving us this opportunity to use their hall. We want to thank you guys. Thank you very much. Can you put your hands for Lagos Business School? Thank you very much. We appreciate and D Brown Consulting for giving us the guys that are available here. So we have for my top end right guy. So he's the guy that does every video you see on D Brown. Every video, Zima. <laughs> so he helps us with all your videos recording, all. Everything you see D Brown does, every video. Just know that that is the guy that is behind the camera. Yeah, that is in behind the camera. So that is how good he is. So we are behind the scene that uses the camera. <laughs> so now that is Wale. Everybody knows Wale already. So Wale is our trainer. He's our Power BI trainer and Excel guru guy. So now we have um, Samson and Lacon that helps us with registration. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So we are using that to wait for everybody to download so that we can work. Yes, yes. Do you have Power BI on yeah. oh, your system? Have you done any Power BI? Okay. Do I have this software? Have you used it? You can. I don't have the software. Can you download it from just Google? Download Power BI. Yes. You download it. Good. You, you can start. So if you have your data, your hands up, please. If you have your data. If you have your data. Hmm? Yeah, it's on the it's on the website. It's on the website. It was on the website. It was on the website. It was on the website. Oh, on the website. Yeah. Check it, but you're on the website. Yeah. Mm, you're just in your introduction, but it's also starts. But you're also looking for people to download, so you can go to the website and download it. So can we start? Yes. Oh, I should wait a little bit. Okay, so I'm waiting for five minutes, please. No, no, no. October is a fire. September is a PBIS. That's what we did in September. 
you get so now what we're going to do now is we are going to bring in october data into september you get it now so it becomes larger so that's what we're trying to do yeah. okay So this one is stuff for October. It's called Vision One and Bright Lab. Right? Mm. It's not called yours there, September Life Lab. Uh, I downloaded this like this a one. week ago. Okay. No, a week? No, no, no. This is what David uploaded like 20 something hours ago. One just got this is yeah. Six. yeah, this is September now. Oh, this is it. <laughs> yeah. These are two yeah, things that I wanted. Yes, yeah, yeah, that is yeah. That is it. So me I've done my sense for that. Yeah. Have you gotten it now? Huh? Mm. Mm. This one is for last two months. Okay. Come on. The the five. The Thanks. So take just the name from here. Do everybody have the five here now? Okay. Okay. Have you seen have you seen it? Okay. They're just two five. They're just two five. Yeah, they're just two five. Yeah, this is it too. Yeah. So can you can you give can you copy it and put it on your system, please? It's just a two five. So what we'll be doing now is that for next month also, because we know that we'll be expecting new people too. So we put what we've done for the past three months, put it and bring it, put new five for that month too. So that will be doing. So this September, yeah. It, everything is there. Okay. So this one, no, it will give you, it will give you now. The other, it will give you now. Yeah, so you share your slaps up and share. Do you have the files? Yes. Sir. Okay. Do you have the files now? Yeah. Okay. Is it inside this flash? Let's take it from there. Maybe the faster that way. Yes. Okay. So let's go. So kindly open your September. Open it. Open the September Life Lab Revision. Open it. Yeah. You also have something like this. <laughs> so this is where we stopped last last month. Okay, thanks. Uh, who have this? You have data now too. Yes. Okay. So everybody opened. Do you have the flash? The data? The data? Yeah. Yes, but can you just different? No, don't worry. Let me give you flash. Yeah, okay. Now, one thing about sharing file is this. So, if you clean a data in Power Query, you notice that you can give somebody those codes in advanced editor you get those codes and you send it to somebody that code the person can take it and put it in the same power query and everything populates back 
Yes. So, but the real issue will just be that where the person saved that same document is what the person should just change. And that's the first thing you're going to do now. Now, we downloaded everything from online, from somebody who dumped it there. So your file itself is supposed to be here on your own system. So we're just going to change the source file. We change the source file and make it clean, then we bring in the other ones. Hmm? So some of you have already downloaded what we did this last week, last month already. I've seen it. So that is fine. So it makes it makes it easy that way. So that was the first thing we're going to do. So I'm just using start to wait. Do we have all our files? Yeah, we can work now. Okay, so let's work. So now if we go to so we're doing this all together, actually. So I'm not training, I'm just facilitating what we are doing. Mm -hmm. So let's go. So we want to go back to Power Query. So how do I go back to Power Query? Oh. Then edit queries. Abi? Yeah, so everybody, home edit queries. So I'm in Power Query. Home edit queries. So if you notice now that there's, there's a problem. Why? Because the source file is coming from somebody else's system. So it's not connected with my own system. So I need to change that. I need to change it. So how do I change? Data source. So please let's follow that way. We are all doing it together. So let me, do we have the file? I think I only have one in the mm. system, so how do I get these others to upload back to this? So, it's in our internet. It's on the internet. Uh, so, just download from there. From there. Yeah. Go. No. Go back. That's his home. Yeah. Because I think some people also downloaded that without downloading this one. Yes. So, you can just create it from them. So. This September, this one. This one. This is it. This one. Click. So you're going to see the fa the files there. Okay, this is it. Oh, no, is this August? No, no, don't worry. This is the first one. This is the one. The so when um, you see the file there. So can I help you? Yeah. So that I, I don't. Oh, you don't have the power there itself. Uh, it's taking forever to download. Do you know if anybody has software? Does anybody have Power BI software? The software itself. Does anybody have? Yeah, the set of file. You have? Oh, okay, cool. So I'm coming. Can I eject? So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so please, for those also, for those who doesn't have all the exercise files that we used before, kindly have them on your system too, because that is where all this will get their data from. So for those who are here last month, you are fine. But if you're, this is your first time coming, please can you have those exercise files? How can you get it? It's also on the site. Hmm? No, 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 no. It is not a must. Uh, that is one good thing about Power Query. Power Query connects to hundreds of data sources. So it's not a must. Everything must be in the same place. So I can be doing my analysis and maybe my country is already in a web file. I can run get it from a web. Then I can run get all my other indicators from another place entirely, maybe an Azure database. So you can work from anywhere. It's just you connecting, getting a connection. Sorry, so what is that we're trying to connect to this new to that file? Is that, is that what we're doing now? So now what we want to do now is to, this data itself, we put it online, but the database itself, where it is, is not our own system. So you're going to give us a error. So we want to connect this data itself into our own system, so it doesn't give us a error first. Then we'll now bring in October data. 
Yeah, so we bring in October data because now it's telling us errors here. Yeah. We can't work. We have to change the source file. So the source file we want to change now. Have you seen it? Stop <laughs> it. Thank you. Okay, so he's coming. Um, no, for them that needs power bear. So for those who have flash job, you can help and put September all our September exercise file into your flash. Please give it, please do it for us so that we can move very, very fast. We are getting behind schedule a little bit. So anybody who needs it, we can just distribute it around. Do we all have last month files? But they don't have. Do you have? Okay, okay, okay. But you are around last month now. You change the system. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, you have last month file. Can you give it to him? You have to. If you have no problem, then I will do how not to do it. Okay. Thanks. So, so you just use that in stuff. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Stay with us together. I can't wait. Us together. Let's want to develop our own software. So I can't wait. Us together over there. Mm. Okay. So let's 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 roll. Let's roll now. Okay. So. How do we change? You said I should go to source? No, just source. That's, that's okay, that, that is what we okay. <laughs> so so I go to source. So everybody click source. So there is one setting, one setting sign besides source. So just click that setting sign. It should bring this dialog box for you. Are we there? Okay. So now, the file part of the person who put it there, which is Wale, that is his own file part. We need to go and bring our own file part into this, and it's going to work immediately. So now, do you see browse? So can you click browse? Click browse. So if you get these points, so what are we trying to bring in? We are bringing in population. Are you serious? Yeah. So, uh, so now do you see our population is population total? For me, I have it as population total. Mm -hmm. So I click population total. Click where your population is. Click population total. Have you done that? Okay. Your population. So you just go to your directory where you have your population. Click it. Click open. Click open. After that, just click OK. Now this is what happens. Now, see what I will now do. I go back to my last apply step. Then this is it. So I've changed the file. So it's not more um, Wallace file. It's now my own file. That's what I just did now. So what I did, my first step, I went to my source. I click on the setting. 
Then I click browse. Then it goes to my computer to where I saved the files. Then I connect it there. Then I bring it down here. And we are good. So can you do the other ones? Sorry, you did this from new source? No, from, just from source, yeah. So, so I'm using the second one. We're using live expectancy to do it again. So we can get familiar with it. So this is live expectancy now. I click on live expectancy. I still have the same problem. So I go to source. See the source I'm going to. Can you see source? In my apply step. The first one, my apply step. Yeah, my apply step. So my apply step source. Then I go to browse. Then I bring in live expectancy too. Then I click open. OK. Then click the recent one in apply step. So we are here. Your last apply step should be rename, column, something like that. Yeah. Just click on it. Okay. Yeah, just click on it. Everything will work. So what it does is this. Everything that we did in that apply step is called the M language. So everything we did was called M language. So now let me show you the codes for M language, everything that we did here. Just, just look at me. So I go to view. Now, every code that you need to write to make your data clean is what we've written here. But we don't need to write. That's what Paco is telling us. You just tick, 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 change. This is the code. So for view and um, editor, advanced editor. Okay, Yeah, in advanced editor. So these are all the codes that was written. So, but instead of you writing all these codes, if I've cleaned it, I don't need you to pass through the problem again. So I'll just copy all this, send it to you. So you just go put it on your own advanced editor too. Everything populates, change the source. You are fine. Are you seeing it now? So that's how it works. So, so you don't mean what Wally has been doing. No, I don't have that problem. I don't have that. <laughs> so that's what I just did. So that's just how you share. Okay, you're, you're when I click on the name column from the left. Uh, okay. Expression error. Okay, so what do you now say next? <laughs> okay. So so go to error. Yeah. So now it's about to go in. So hope you you're bringing population or you. I'm starting population first, then I'm doing live experience. But your population is having issues. Population is having issues. So, do it again. Don't worry, just do it again. Start from the game. Do it source. Start. So, after browsing, picking population, mm -hmm. what do I do to do? No, nothing. You're fine. So, for you to know that it is clean. What was the point you picked in your life with expectancy? It didn't give you any error. Like me, just the... You're saying, oh, fine, cool. Fine. But make sure you click on the last apply step to be sure. So your last apply step, click on it to be sure. Is the data still clean? Yes. It's fine. Yeah, you're good. So now, for you to know if your data is clean, this yellow sign huh, will change your table sign. There's a there's yellow sign. Sorry, my height. <laughs> this yellow sign. <laughs> We change to a table sign. So if you change to a table sign, you're fine. And for all the files. Then yeah, for all the files. So can you read for all the other files? Income, countries. Maybe you for those two, your fact file will work. You don't need to do for fact file. I'll tell you why. Has it worked? Uh, so that bring it, make sure you're bringing in like the state data, not population data. Okay. So when I did, when okay, I did no, population no. first. Okay, do population. Yeah, population yeah. First. Okay, open. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Looking for me. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. So click here. Yeah. So go to yeah. So go to live expectancy. We we'll have to go to live expectancy. Yes. Okay. For income, for yeah. for the beginning. Yes. I will explain why. So don't do one on one. So make sure you always click on your query before working on it. The query we are clicking on is what is appearing here. So if I'm clicking on live expectancy, this is what is appearing. If I don't click on anything, I'm still going to source and I'm doing anything on it. It doesn't work. Yeah, so click on it first and then. Who oh, have finished it? Oh, cool. Okay, so let me let me meet you guys. But who notice that immediately you do population life expectancy, your fact file works. Yeah. What do you think happens? The fact file is dependent on those population income. Thank you. Thank you. So what we did was this. You know your income, population, and life expectancy. They are one one indicator. Agreed? Yes. Now we just appended the three of them into a new file and call it our fact file. So those the fact file itself doesn't work if those other three does not work. So that's what we did there. So I'll show you how we do it. So this income. So I go back to source. Okay, so now my fact file has worked. See, let me open my fact file for you, for you to see. If you see that nothing has happened in my apply step, it's just a source. Check your fact file so you see it. It's just a source. What we did was to append all our queries. So, who understand append queries and merge queries? Append queries and merge queries. Okay, so for every other person, see, this is what append and merge means. So, can you see merge? And append queries up by right hand side. What it means is this. So if I want to merge a query, I am merging to the right columns. That's what I'm merging. If I want to append, I'm appending below. So if I'm merging, uh, so this is what I mean. So there are three people here, and I want my columns to be more than three. So if I want to put the other two here, which I would like is merge or append? Merge. Because I want it to be five. But because I want to append, I want to do make some and do some queries whereby A and B C they are all together. What we like click on append. You understand? So that's what we just did. So we appended the queries. So that's why you notice that everything worked perfectly. So for the countries, same thing that we will do. Okay. So, five columns. Which one? For countries. Yeah, country is a different set on its own. I know, but I have three columns. Okay, you have three. Three. I have country, continent, and continent food. Mm. Was it this one you used last month? Yeah. Okay, you used it last month. Oh, yeah, fine, no problem then. Mm, do you want to? You want to? Fine. If you want to. This is not showing the right time for. Oh, the right. Okay. I mean, this thing. I don't know why. Uh, so close it and open it again. The power yeah, close the power and open it again. Now, this is what we do. Very fast. Everybody, is your data now clean? Yes, it's clean, don't worry. <laughs> so now, this is what we do. We're going to bring in poverty data now. We're going to bring in poverty data. So I want us to leave power query very fast. So everybody, let's bring in power data. New source. 
new source so is excel that we are using a bit so click excel you are going to see october 19 exercise file so new source excel then it takes you connect then it takes you to you go and bring it in then open so we take this then we click ok transform 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 so now we are going to do a team job now so you are going to give me steps on how to clean this property data so I'm going to be picking five people so just be ready I'm picking five people to clean this data okay eh? you are the first person I'm picking so yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. give me one step so wait, I'm picking him. So you have to click transform, then you have to use first row as headers. Okay, cool. Thank you. Use first row as headers. Um, let me see what I'm picking next. Uh, okay, next step. Next step. Please, what's the first part? Okay, so now, if you notice, at this point, we have, we have, this is how it came in. So we have countries in our first row, and it doesn't make sense. It's already getting part of our data, which doesn't make sense. So we needed to take all our column headers, we take it what? Up. So the first one itself, we need to use it as an what? Header. So you take, go to, there are different ways to do it actually. Different ways to do this. He said you should go to transform and use first row of headers. You can do that. But do you see this table on top of one? Do you see one table sign on top of one? You can use that place too, also to do it. If you right click that place, you, you are going to see use first row as headers. You see it there. And one thing about Power Query is that there are so many places you can do so many things. So many places you can do so many things. So you just have to just pick which one you want to use. And which one is faster for you to use. So, my brother, what, I, what am I doing next now? Um, we'll go on people at the table. Is there anybody thinking another thing? Um, on pivot or that column? On pivot. Anybody have another idea? First of all, those know. The nose. Okay, the know. Okay, now. Everybody always remember that none is actually not a problem. Sincerely, when you say no, don't think it's a problem. It's not. It's just an absence of data. No is not a problem. It's just an absence of data. So in Excel, you know those empty empty cell? Those empty empty cell comes in as null. So we should try when you see no, leave null first. Before now we give you a problem. It will be long. First of the one that has data first. So let's say the one that has data. If no one give us problem, we will know we'll, it is going to take us to where there is a problem. But none is most of the time not a problem. And I think I can give you a problem is maybe we are seeing those minus sign. It's so annoying. You will not see it though. One minus sign, then you will now be seeing data format error copy. Have you seen this error before? You see data formats copy. Is it bad? 
So now we're going to unpivot other columns, not unpivot column. Unpivot other columns. Okay, so now this is it. So how do you do a pivot other columns? Everybody, let's follow. Right click on country column. Okay. And go down, you see on pivot other columns there. So let's do that way. <laughs> My boss was holding camera. He was looking at the computer. But he looked at the screen. He told me that there was a transformation. He looked at the camera again. He looked up. He didn't understand. So he needed to ask. So I'll do it again. <laughs> I'll do it again. So now, remember I said that null are no problems. Okay. There are no problems. Now, one of our seven golden rules is that all dates must be in a single column, not rule. So what we are trying to do is this. All our date headers, we are trying to convert them and change them this way. They are in rows, are to, so that's what we just do. Okay. So we just did on um, five votes. So you can browse about it, the seven body rules. So the first body rule is that there should not be empty rows, no empty columns. All dates must be in a single column. All column must have its own unique data. No total or sub-total. Can somebody give me the two more? Uh, no, obstruction. no obstruction around your data. And one more last word. Yeah. One last word. So let me go back again. Maybe you can remember the last one. So no empty rows. No empty columns. All your um, dates must be in a single column. No total or sub-total. Then we said all columns must have its own unique value. Then number six, no obstruction. No then number one. one row of edges. Thank you. One row of edders. Okay. One row of edders. So one row of edders. That's the last one. So what we did was just to change them upside down. That was just it. So how we do it is this: we click on it. Right click and on pivot other columns. Okay, now if you want to know when to pivot or on pivot, this is it. Most of the time, your seven body rules tells you what to do next. Actually, you remember that when we brought in the data, we noticed that all headers were actually on a rule, not up. And you said that we should have we should take them up. When you took them up, you notice that you now have country and all your year was like that. So now, imagine you know that, but you know you have to change, so which is on pivot. So you are just on pivoting them like that. No, it's not as transpose. It's not, it's different. See transpose. Transpose is taking the whole data too and converting them same way but on pivot is taking selected so and that selected means that this in transpose if you transpose all these ones we follow the countries we follow it becomes scattered then but the one that helps you to still have one that is constant and all the old data with it just follows in when you still change is on pivot so you have to know when to use both of them so you are changing the old data upside down use transpose but when it becomes that you need to have some set of selected data still standing and you still need to change all others they use on pivot that's how it works they use on pivot so now but there's something with this data is not complete you know why in our population, we have five things. In our life expectancy, it is five. In our income, it is five. But in, and you know that this property is also an indicator, Abby? Yes. It's an indicator also, but we have three. How do we make it five? What are the other two things that is not present in this? Can I tell me the two things? 
So we have indicator name and date. And we did indicator name last month. We, we brought in indicator name. So we're going to do that again. We're going to bring in indicator name. And somebody should tell me how we bring in the dates. So we're going to do that. So but can somebody remind us how we did? So I'll be talking to my madam by my left. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. So let's go. Now, population, remember, population is called country name in population, Rabi. But in poverty, it's called country. It will give us problem. It will. I remember the power query is K-sensitive. It's K-sensitive. Everything that you write must be the same. Must always be the same. So let's change. First, let's change our country. Change your country to country name. Double click the name. And you'll be able to change it to country name. Click enter. Change your attribute to year. Click enter. So we have to be very fast. So now I want to bring in um, indicator name. I want to bring indicator name. So how do we bring it? So let me, everybody go to add column. Add column tab. Click it. Are we done that? Do you see custom column? Click it. So delete the, the word custom there. And put indicator name. Put indicator name. Have you done that? Yes. Now, what we write? What are we writing for our prosy? Poverty. poverty. Have you? So, but before you write poverty, what are you going to do? Put your inverted commas there. So then you write poverty. Make sure you put them. If you put them once, you see like it turns you into two. Yes. So type poverty. Then click OK. Have you seen it? You have poverty now. Now I want to bring in dates. Can somebody teach other we bring in dates? Can somebody try? One second, two, three. Okay. With the country. With the country? Country does not have dates. No, sir. Yeah. In, 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 income or, or life expectancy? Is that what you think? Uh, let me take the fact <laughs> <laughs> is five. It's still five. Okay, so let's be fast about it. So let me tell you how we do it. Now, we're still in that column. Do you see column from example? The first one. Do you see? Click it. Do you see from selected? Yeah. Column from example, then column, then from selected. Click from selected. You should have something like this. Do we have it? Now we need to be careful here. I pick from selected, which means that there is one of the column that I want to use to help me work in the column that I'm creating. That is the meaning. Now, and if you notice that is your indicator name, is it the one that's been highlighted for you? Or what was highlighted? Yours is country. Look on the top of that country name. You see that it was ticked. It means that it wants to work on country name. And you know that that's what we want to work on. We are working on the year. Because one, which one is ticked for you? Indicator name, like mine too. Problem. Indicator name, no problem. All, all of them. Okay. <laughs> so now, everybody make sure the only thing that is ticking is your year. So make sure. Your year. Yeah. Untick all others. Make sure it is year. Year. Have you done that? They add. Okay, so add. Add column. 
click it. Okay, so add column then add from example from selection. Yeah. So make sure. Like I don't have this indicator name. Indicator name. Mm. Oh, you not done indicator name. No. Okay, so just cancel. Yeah. So add column. So change it to indicator name. So go down inside. So do your your inverted commas, inverted commas, I need inverted commas here. Yeah. So write property. I write OK. And click OK. Then do stop here. Hmm? Yeah, from selection now. Do the other one from selection. So now we want to change it to dates. Now see what I want to do now. We've ticked here. So now see, tick on the, the first one, which is column one. I read under. Now type. So now this is what we're going to do. Type one. Type one. I still want to write the normal dates. Do you have something like this that comes up for you? So which one do you think we are think we are taking? Yeah. Yeah. Date from here. Have you? So now everybody click date from here. I just click one. I just typed one. Date from here. Click enter. Did it work? Mm -hmm. Okay, so everybody see it. 111 1996. That's what I just did. I just picked that. For some people, they might not have it. If you don't have it, it's no problem. So I removed this so that for people that don't have it, this is it. 111. Why is speaking is this? It's changing all these years into dates. That's what I just did. It's changing all the whole year into dates. So that's just what I did. So now when you click OK, it's supposed to work. Click OK, it's supposed to work. When you click OK, it's supposed to work. So mine is doing some merge things that I don't tell you to do. So don't worry about my own. Don't worry. But has just worked. So if you know, you know that one is having date, month, year. Date, month, year. Yeah, straight down. Date, month, year. This what you are seeing on my own screen. Just flow. Date, month, year. I'm trying to pick, pick this. Yeah, from selection. Yeah, so. Tick, make sure you're taking your year. Tick it here, sit, sit here, sit here, tick. Yeah, no, don't untick this. Yeah, so type it. Date means here. One, one, one. Yes. So it depends on which one you want to pick. If you notice, I gave us so many differences that I want to pick. So it depends on the one I want to pick. The when you pick that, you click OK, then it populates. So it's looking at your year to get the other dates. Sorry, please, I have a question. Okay. That's the uh, query that we wrote on earlier. Yeah. Where we were assigning the property. Yeah. Where we're in that, I mean, they don't have to found the property on the big floor. That's Poverty file. We, we all ever download the poverty file. You never download it too. Yeah. I give the flash. Is there the flash? Is it in the um, October? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Where is Daniel is there? Okay. But the number of free in poverty. Yes. Okay, so it's the same. Yes, it's the same, yes. Yes. So if you notice your column header changed to date data type already. Is so that is it. Is intelligent enough to know that you are talking about date. If it sees as text, it's going to think text. If it sees number, it's going to think whole number. So it knows what you're doing. You want to ask a question? Okay, so what you want to get this step by uh, if you get the year, mm -hmm. then change Remember I said something. I said that there are so many ways to do many things. You get it now. So now you've been done our power query. Everybody click close and apply. Let's go to Power BI. 
close and apply it. Let's go to Power BI. So we are going to go for our tea break now. Yes, close and apply. So we go for go, let, close and apply. Go to home, click your home. The first thing you see is close and apply. So I came in too late. I just okay. want to confirm that what you are fine. did on these other ones was changed. Yes, yes, you are fine. So, like my friend said, he said that there are different ways. So, which is true, there are different ways. This is the second way you can do what he's saying that we should do. I click on my year, I right click, I duplicate column. If I duplicate column, you notice that year, year comes here. But I don't need that. So, I change this to date. So maybe I change the date. I change this my data type. I change it already to what? To date. <laughs> <laughs> so in the different ways, in fact, there are different ways to do different things. You just need to just know which one. Which one? So let's go for our tea break. So yeah, if I whatever comes up and do so, or oh, is magic. Who is magic? <laughs> So now, no we need to bring in all the old file that we need now. Mm. So now, once we want to now talk about the DAX, how DAX works. So I'm going to just use like two, three minutes. You know, some in Excel works the same way some in DAX. So some in Excel, you are using the first two some. You pick one, you pick the other one, then you have your addition. If you double click or you align down, every other thing works together, fine? Yeah. Now, what's that thing separately? You now, that is the language of power BI, power pivot. It thinks separately. So it thinks with, it thinks oh, with sorry. column and tables. It doesn't think with cell. It doesn't think with cell. It thinks with columns what is and things. It works with. It doesn't think with cell. Work with. So if you are having something that goes like this, you remember our pivot table? Who is pivot table? Pivot table. Pivot table. Uh -huh. So now you are using pivot table. Tick. Tick. If you notice that it comes up in region, column, column, column. Can you type inside pivot table? Same way that time in power pivot, which is all over the power BI. You don't type in power BI. You don't type in power query. You can't do any of those things. So it thinks color. It thinks scale. It doesn't think cell. You are not going to a cell to look. So any of your analysis has to be as a column or as a what? Table. A column or a table. So what we will be doing in the next 45 minutes? is for you to see how some that formula works. How some that formula works. So I'm giving the floor to Wale. Okay. Yes, no worries. Oh, no, no, no. I'll spell it for you. Okay, so why don't we continue from there? <laughs> okay, I don't know the end of DAX. DAX. D A X. Who is there in DAX for the first time? One, two, three, four. David now. Five. Dax for the first time. Oh, okay. So Dax is data analysis expression. Data analysis expression. Okay, so it's just like some advanced. Uh, let me say some more advanced formulas. Do you use Excel? I don't think use Excel. Can we see that? I did not use Excel. I've never opened Excel. Can we see that? You have never opened Excel. You have opened it. Yes. You have never opened Excel. Are you please be sincere? At all. It's not being sincere. Okay, so Excel, just like just like Excel. There's nothing in DAX. It's very, very simple, just like your Excel. But the only difference is that in Excel, we use Excel very well. Excel is a spreadsheet application, right? So and in a spreadsheet application, you have different cells, right? In Excel, I have, let me say, I have something like this, this table. I have this, right? So I have this cell is called what? Let me say I have one, two here. I have A, B, C, D. This is a spreadsheet, right? So A is what? A is representing what in this spreadsheet? A column, right? So one is representing what? 
a row, right? So a spreadsheet consists of columns and row, right? And this box that I have up here is what? A cell. A cell. Call what? A1. A1. So this is the address of this cell. Every cell always has their own address. So the address of this cell is called A1, right? What's the address of this guy? C2, right? Because there is a column and there is a row, right? So in Excel, when you, whenever you're using functions or formula, so you reference a cell, right? You reference each address. I want to go to C4, or you reference a range. For example, a range means I'm highlighting more than one cell, right? So I reference this place and this place. But for Power BI, it doesn't work like that, right? Because it's not a spreadsheet application. Whether you can reference a particular cell, right? You're just working with a table. So and any time you're working with a table, not a spreadsheet, you either reference that table or you reference the column. A table is always like this. A table is always like this, right? This is a table and this is a spreadsheet. Right? So whether you are referencing this old table or you are referencing this particular column, let's say this is column A, B, C, and D. Right? In my column A, I have two, three, four, five, six. If I want to sum this column, what am I summing? I want to add all this column. What am I summing? I'm summing column A. But in Excel, if you want to sum all this number, what do you do? You highlight from A1 to A6. Do you get that? So in Power BI, it's different. You are referencing a column or you are referencing the whole table. So look at this our data now. Data we just brought in. If you check the data up here, if I check my fact file, we have different indicators. Can you mention that, those indicators? We have income. We have life expectancy. We have population. And what? And poverty, right? But if you look at these fat sales, look at these fat sales, the fat files that you have, sorry, fact file, right? Look at the fact file. If you look at this fat file very well, you can see the fourth thing in that table is what? Continue. What's the second one? Dates. What's the third one? The fourth one is what? And the last one is what? Yeah. yeah. Inside this value, remember we have different indicators, right? So inside this value, we have four or five different indicators. We have population inside the value. We have life expectancy inside the value, right? We have poverty inside the value. And if you check our population very well, population is in numbers, right? Our life expectancy is in what? Life, the life, what you're expected to live by is actually in age, right? Is in age. You're supposed to live by Nigeria, you're supposed to live by maybe 55 years. In UK, you're supposed to live by 60 years. So you have different values here, right? So how many of you have worked with DAX before? I've worked with DAX. Let's see your hand. I know all the gurus in the house, so don't, don't hide your face. <laughs> so I've worked with DAX. Can we, can we see your hand? With DAX. Okay, DAX, DAX. Give me one function you've, you've written in DAX. Okay, so there's a function called calendar auto. Is it auto calendar or calendar auto? Okay. Okay, give me another one. Any other person? So, okay, so just sum. Just sum. Okay, any other function? Almighty calculate. Almighty calculate. Mm. Oh my. So, actually, in Power BI, there's something called calculate. Do you know the reason why you call it almighty? So, because that's actually the powerful calculation in Power BI. If you know how to use calculate, you're already a guru. So let me put it here. <laughs> calculate. So he's a guru and you are sitting beside him. You better collect his number. <laughs> calculate. Okay. Calculate. Give me another one. Give me another one. Give me another one. Counts. Counts. Okay. Counts. Counts. There is counts. Okay. Just give me. You know, we are, we are talking about top five DAX. Just give me any DAX that you know is top, that you know is very well. Full time. Oh, there's a function called full time. That's true. But which one? We still rank on this one to get the top five, right? Okay, give me another function. You've used DAX before. Excuse me, you use DAX? Let me touch her. You use DAX, right? DAX. Give me one function in DAX. Okay, SPLY. That's good. Same period last year. Yeah, so you do time intelligence a lot. Okay, any other function? 
Okay, for those that use Excel, they are not familiar with that. Tell me what function you've been using in Excel. Sort. You use sort, okay? You use what again? Excel group. Tell us now. Average. Average. Mm. Do you know we made average today? Let me just put it up here. Average. Okay. Average. Okay. Give me another one. Excel group. Okay, I'll be going to tables. From here, give me two. Give me two functions. Maybe Excel or DAX. Give me anyone. No, no, no. Forget that one. Give me two down. Two functions. Sum. Sum is already here. Mean. Okay. So there's a function called mean, right? To give us what? The minimum number. What's normal distribution? <laughs> I've been using Excel for four, ah, for seven years now. I'm not used to <laughs> What's normal distribution? No, it's mean. N O R A. But are you an a statistician or T I S T? We need to learn this from them. Okay, from this table. Bye. Tell us, tell us, tell us. Spell it. B I N O M. B I ah D I S T. Yes, that's just and so. Ah, see, I need to learn from you now. Okay, give us another one from this table. Another function. Maybe in Excel or Power BI. Ceiling, yeah, there's a function called ceiling. I think I've used it once. Ceiling, okay? <laughs> Give us two here. Give us two here. Index. Index, oh, that's the Excel guru. But well, you know we don't need index again. What do we need now? Thank you. S to call. Mm. But let's put it down. Index. That's Excel. Another one? <laughs> Come to our concatenate, right? We use concatenate here. Let's see your Concatenate. Even Excel. Concatenate. Mm. Concat. Concatenate. You know this concatenate is old in Excel now. People don't use it again. They use text join. Go and explore it. Okay, so these are all functions, right? So don't be scared. Just the way you are doing it in Excel is the way you do it in Power BI. And for those that are very good already in Power BI, they don't have to use all this stuff. All these functions you have in Excel, they are in Power BI as well. Right? But for today, you want to pick any top five here. Which one are we picking from here? Sum. Sum is very, very important in any, in any analysis. It's because for any analysis that you will do, is either you are summing or you are counting. Do you know that? For most of the analysis, is either you are summing something or you are counting something. Right? Okay, so sum is part of our top. Okay? Give me another one that is top. Average. average is also part of our top, right? Because we'll do average today, right? So average is very, very important too. Average, average, okay? Give me any other top function. Count, count yeah. Count is very, very important too. I'm counting our transaction. We are counting the countries. We are counting different stuff, okay? Filter or sort, okay? So filter or sort will be very, very important in Excel, but well, just imagine, look at this guy. Look at this guy, for calculate. He's a master of filter. This guy is a master of filter. I want to filter anything. So let's add this guy to part of our top five. Okay? Calculate. Okay? One, two, three, four. We have four already. You mean one. Let's add one. Calendar. Calendar auto. Hmm. Yeah, it may be top, but we are not creating we are not creating calendar. So let's pick another one. Oh, so if you're working on this level probability, don't mention this too down here. <laughs> because I don't know I don't know what it is. <laughs> don't mention this too down here. I don't know what it is. But then you can because when you're dealing with large numbers and you have to forecast and understand the Well I can do that one forecast in different ways now. Nah. Okay, but it's fine. But I will not pick it. I will not pick it. Pick another one out of here. Or not, let me just give, give me another another one. We have some average count, calculate, and what? Mean. Okay, so I want to know the minimum number. Should we add it to our top five? No. no. Okay. Any other one? Total. Total. Yeah, some is here already. 
But there is something called total white TV, but we are not using that. I don't know who I've used that before. Okay, any other one? Okay. Or we should base on this four? Just add normal. I should add normal one. No. Dave, give me one now. Uh, distant can't. Oh, so there is a function called distant can't. Yeah. I want to count the distant, distant value. Distant can't. It's still can't, yeah? Can't is can't. Well, let's just leave it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Maybe we need that. Remember, we are closing by 12 on the dot. So, all these top five, right? We can do maybe some average today, but if there is time, you can do the rest three. But if there is no time, too, you can practice all this on your own. Right? Do you get that? And if you have any question, you can actually ask. With this, your data. Okay, so for this now, let's do average. Let's start with average. Right? Let's start with average. Open a new page. Open a new page. Just open a new page. For those that are guru already, don't worry, we'll still do it together. We'll do it together. Okay, open a new page. Let's have a fresh page like this. 11.28, okay, let's have a fresh page. We are just going to create a simple dashboard with this, this new page. But before we do that, let's just write some DAX first. Okay, so I want to write, uh, before I even write anything, pick a table visual. Look at this, if you are opening Power BI for the first time, these are called visuals. They are just like your chart in Excel to express yourself. So click this one called table. Look at this visual called table. Click this one called table. This visual called table. Click on it. Click on table. Have you clicked on table? Now go to your fact sales. Fact sales. Right? Are you in fact sales? Tick value or tick country name and tick value. Or we should take continuum for a fact, but okay. Tick, 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 continuum for your fact first. From your country and continent first. Look at country and continent up here. Yes. Tick country name. Just tick it like this. Tick country name. Just tick it. They are lost. Okay. Look up. Look up. Yes. Not on that fact. So you can pick it from the dimension. We have already linked it. Then tick value as well. Just tick value. Okay, so tick, tick country and tick value from your fat file. Help your neighbor now. Ah, so you are pressing phone. Your, your neighbor is struggling. This is a user group now. You can help each other. Help your neighbor if they are not doing it. Yes, so just tick say, value from here. Take value from your fact. Okay, take country value. from country. Yes, value from, value from here. Uh, Have you tick country and value? So, yeah. Why didn't you take the country in fact file? What yes. Differentiates okay. The, uh, the most, uh, yeah, so the value in your fact, look at this fact. Can you see country name here? Yes. So I didn't pick country name here, but I pick it in the dimension. Why? So the major reason why we have this dimension is something called data model. So we model these two. If I go to this view, look at it. Relationship view, there's a view called relationship. They call it model now. So if I go to this view, you can see countries and continents, then you can see facts, right? So we have already connected this guy to this guy. So this country name in your fact sales, in your fact file, I don't know why I keep saying fact sales. Maybe it's because I work with a lot of sales. Okay, so this country name in your fact file, is actually a connector, right? It's just to connect with this guy. So it's what is the country. Yes, what is there? So it doesn't mean you cannot click it, but the best practice for you is just to pick from your dimension. Yeah, that's the best practice. So have you tick countries and values? Everybody, look up. We have just less than 30 minutes. So have you tick countries and values? Okay, so uh, if you tick countries and values, you can see that there is blank here, right? Up here, can you see the blank? Yeah. So that means there is a problem with the relationship, the model. That means from the fact sales and the model, some countries are not seeing each other. So that's why it's returning blank, right? But we will not solve that problem today. But to solve it now, just right click on the space. Look at this blank. Right click on it, right click on the blank, and click exclude. 
exclude it from our data so we can continue. Just right click on the blank. Look at the blank up here. Right click on the blank and exclude. Right click from the blank and exclude. Right click from the blank and exclude. Have you done that? Yes. Okay, so look at this now. I have country name and I have values. Right? But I don't know which value is this. Because Part here is summing all the indicator for us. It's summing population with poverty, with income, with life expectancy. It's summing all the indicators. Right? Do you get that? So to check maybe which value is this, I can pick a slicer for my indicator. Right? Should we do that? Click outside your visual. If you are using Power BI for the first time, click outside this table in a blank canvas. Click outside the table. Have you done that? So there's a visual here called Slicer. Look at it. It's called Slicer. Can you see it? It's like a funnel like this. Tick it or click on it. Have you clicked on it? Now go and tick your indicator name in your fact file. Tick indicator name in your fact file. Tick indicator name in your fact. Tick indicator in your fact. Okay, so have you tick indicator name? Okay, so if I click on income now, if I click on income, look at it, that means I'm featuring this value by income. So this is the income of all the countries. If I click on live expectancy, I'm featuring this value by live expectancy. Right? If I click on population, for example, like this, I'm filtering this value by population. What if I now need all these indicators as, as a different values? Maybe I can use them for different analysis. So I want to see population here. Instead of having value here, I want to see population. I want to see income here. I want to see life expectancy beside each other, right? But before we do that, you can see that this thing is just showing like, uh, it's just summing all the stuff. That's, that's the default. Because if you check the back of here, what do you see at the back of value in your fact file? What do you see? A summation. So that's the default. It's summing the whole feed. So we need to then now do average. We need average, right? Okay. In Excel, when you want to write a formula, what do you do? You just type equals to in any cell, right? But there's no cell here. So what should we do? There's no cell now. Is it query? We are not going back to query. Okay, so every application always speaks their own language. Excel language is functional language. That's why they call it Excel functional language. But Power BI speaks a DAX language, right? So function in Excel is called measures in Power BI. Functions in Excel is called measures in Power BI. I'm writing, if you are telling somebody you are writing a function in Excel, right? I'm writing a function in Excel. That's what you say, right? But in Power BI, I'm writing a measure. Not a function. Can it, I'm writing a measure. Not a function. You are writing a measure. I'm writing a measure. Right? And if you want to write a measure in Power BI, right? In Power BI, you have just four tabs. You have Home, View, Modeling, and Help. Is that what you have? Can you go to Modeling? Go to Modeling tab. Go to Modeling tab. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You are more advanced than me. <laughs> okay, click on modeling. I just want to be modeling. Click on modeling. Are you in modeling tab? Everybody, this table, check your neighbor now. Are you in modeling? Check your neighbor, check them out. Are they doing fine? Check your neighbor here too. Are you in modeling? Okay, so in modeling, can you see new measure? New measure. So we are writing a new function, just like Excel. You are writing a new function. So in Power BI, it's called new measure. So click on new measure. <coughs> new measure. Have you clicked on new measure? For the gurus in the house, they already know what this means. But for somebody like us, that we are still struggling, right? So this is called measure. Can you see this thing blinking up here? Measure and showing equals to. Can you see this? Let me expand my screen. Can you see measure equals to? So Pavia is asking, 
what is the name of your measure and type equals to? So what is the name of our measure? Average, average right? So let's just type AVG. Average, right? Have you typed AVG? Now, put equals to. In Excel, when you're writing a function, equals to, you put equals to, right, to start. Okay, so if you want to do average in Excel, what's the function do you use in Excel to do average? Average, average, right? So there's a function called average. So can you type average? Let's see if there's a function called average. Yeah. Is there a function called average? Yeah. Okay, so returns the average, and it's like means of all the column, right? Of all the column. Can you see cells there? No. Of all the cells. Can you see cells? Remember what I said that DAX work with what? Column and table. Okay? So I don't want to type this average finish. I just want to open a bracket. What should I press on my keyboard? Tab. Tab, right? So tab help you to open a bracket when you see a function. Make sure you're in that function and press tab on your keyboard. Press tab on your keyboard. Are you there? So we are looking for the average of what? Average of what? Look at this our table, fact fact. Average of what are we looking for? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the value. We are not even separated yet. So we are looking for the average of the value. Right? So where can I find value in my table? The value is in which table? Fact file. Right? Can you type value? Type value. Type value. Can you type value? So immediately you type value, can you see fact five value? What does that mean? What does that mean? Fact five value. What does that mean? The fact file is what? The table. And the value is what? Okay, so the column inside the fact file is called value. So that's why you can see fact five value. So press tab again to open that. Press tab on that again to open it. Sorry, it's actually seen two files. Okay, it's so what that means is uh, you can find value in two files. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't get it. It's seen two files. Okay, so I have. Yeah, that means you guys brought in uh, poverty. Okay. Mm. So we know okay, so the one we are using is fact file. Okay. It's fact file. We are supposed to append the poverty and. You do not load it, but it's fine. So we're using value in fact file, right? So just press tab. So to, to finish this, uh, this formula, what do I do? This measure. I close the bracket, right? Just like Excel. Please close the bracket. Or even if you don't close it, it will work. Because this guy is smart, right? Enter. Have you entered? Have you entered now? Just finish your, finish your formula and just click enter. Have you even enter? Yeah. Okay, so where is your formula? Can you see it? Where is it? Check, check your table here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Look for it. Look for it. My home is under countries and continent called AVG. Look for your home. Can you see yours? Can you see yours? Your face. I can see that you are. You can't see it. I can read your face. Can you see it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay, so look up, look up, look up. So look at this AVG. Can you see a sign beside the AVG? What do you see beside the AVG? Calculator. What's the difference between this AVG and this value? Look up. This one has a sign of calculator, and this value has a sign of summation. So that's the default. So this calculator that you can see here, it means that we are the one that wrote this function, right? So now, this value that we have inside here, yeah. click on your table. Let's remove it and put our own average. Click on your table like this. Click on your table. Have you clicked on your table? Yeah. So here, remove the value here, the value. Just remove it here. Remove value here. Sorry, how do you click on the table again? I just click like this. I just click like this. Just like this. Click on the table like this. Have you removed value? So now tick AVG. 
Go and take your AVG. Go and take your AVG. Have you taken AVG? So instead of having summation now, I have what? Average. Right? I don't want the default. That's why we actually write our own measure called AVG. Right? So if I filter this income, I have expectancy, I can see the average, I can see population, I can see the average, I can filter by different stuff, right? But remember what I said. If I click on income, can you see income? Let me click on it. Income, can you see income? Yeah. How did you move your value? So you click on the table like this, right? Then you go to this place. Look at this side. This side. Ah, okay. So just remove it from here. So if I click on income, this is income, right? If I click on life expectancy, this is life expectancy, right? If I click on population, this is population, right? What am I doing by clicking? I'm filtering the what? The table. By what? By the indicator. And so I'm filtering this table by all these indicators. And it's showing me average for this, average for this. But can we do something? Maybe there's a formula we can write instead of filtering this thing myself. I will have a column for population. I will have a column for income. I will have a column for life expectancy. Instead of filtering this stuff one by one. So right? Yeah, so we have all the data. So there's a formal function. <laughs> I like Excel, though. It's not called function. There's a measure in Power BI called this guy. See, this guy. Calculate. Can you see? This guy called Calculate. That our guru just mentioned. Those are the gurus in the house. Him, him, I know them. I can see their face. Can you see Calculate? So there's a function in Power BI. Function. There's a measure in Power BI called Calculate. This measure allows you to alter a filter contest. In this table, all the value is there. Right? For this measure, we allow you to filter something. Just like I want to calculate income, for example. I want to bring income. I will just type here. Calculate this my average if my indicator is what? Do you get that? Just normal sentence. Calculate this average. I want to see this average, right? Calculate this average if, if this indicator name is what? Income. If I want to calculate life expectancy, what would my expression be? Calculate average if the indicator is life expectancy. What if I want to calculate population? Yes, that's the same thing. But I'm saying that instead of having only average, I want to have population differently so that I can be able to report by population. I don't want to filter. You want this column. I want all of them separately. Do you get that? So I can do top 10 or maybe top 15 for population. I can do top 15 for income. Top 15 for life expectancy because the value is different now. Right? So what's the expression for population? Can you tell me the expression? Calculate average if indicator name is what? Is population. Okay? So remember I said this guy is very powerful. So let's try it. If I want to write a measure, where will I go to? Where is new measure now? Modeling. Financial modeling. Where is modeling now? OK, this is modeling. OK, OK, thank you, thank you. I want to have um, productivity. Where is it? Here, right? OK, so there's a new measure. It's the same thing. I can even come here and right click on the table. You still see new measure, right? So click on new measure. Let's write another function. I don't like why I'm calling it function. I'm used to Excel, sorry. OK, so have you opened new measure? So what should we call this? Uh, let's start with income. So we should call it average income. AVG, AVG, AVG income then equals to. No, 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 no. We are doing income separately, population separately. Remember our expression for income. What is the expression for income? Calculate average if indicator name is equals to income. Right? 
Okay, so the expression, the same way you mentioned it now, is the same way you do the calculation. So there is a function called calculate. Can you type it? Calculate. Can you see that function? What's the definition of that function? Evaluate an expression in a context modified by filter. Our expression is our average. I want to evaluate my average and I want to modify it by my what? What's the filter? By what? Indicator name. Do you get that? I want to modify the expression by the filter called indicator name. So inside that indicator name, I want to pick only what? Income. I want to pick only income from indicator name. Okay, can you press tab on calculate? Have you pressed tab? Press tab. Have you pressed tab? So it's asking for expression and filter. What's the expression? Expression is what? Average. average, right? The other average that we wrote the other time. Just type AVG. Can you see your average? Can you see your average? Yes. Okay, press tab again. Press tab on your average. Have you done that? Okay, so now, to get to the second argument, you put comma, right? Just like I said. Put comma, so we can work with the second argument. Have you typed comma? So the second one is asking for filter. What's our filter? Remember the, your expression again. Calculate average if integral name is equal to in, income, right? So we don't need to put if. Just type indicator name. Indicator name. Then you can see your indicator name in fact file indicator name. Can you see it? Fact file indicator name. Press tab again. Fact file indicator name. Press tab. Are you guys there? Help your neighbor now. Ah, you're not there. You're not saying anything. Yeah, you are there now. Are you guys fine? Yeah. Okay. So you have this right. Calculate average if fact file indicator name is what. Equal, right? So can we put equal sign? Is equal. Is equal. Are you there? Is equal to what? Income, right? That means we can try income inside here. Is equal to income, right? But remember, we are typing a test. Anytime we are typing a test inside the formula, what will you do in Excel? You put what? A double quote, right? Whenever you are typing a text inside a formula, to specify to that function that this is a text, you put it in a double quote. So open your double quote, double quote, open double quote, double quote. Have you done that? So now type income. 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 Have you typed income? Type income. Have you done that? Close your double quote. Close it. Have you closed your double quote? Yeah. Now close your bracket. Close your bracket. Have you closed your bracket? Yeah. Have you closed our bracket? Yeah. Now press enter. Have you pressed enter? Working on it. Working on it. Okay. <laughs> we are working on it. This is how we're working on it too. Is it done working on it? Yeah. Okay, so let me now drag. Click on this table. See, click on your table like this. Click on your table. Now tick average income. Put average income inside your table. Put average income inside your table. Have you put average income inside your table? We should tick income of that filter. Indicator names. So I put it in numbers. Yeah, I know. Put income inside your table. Just tick income inside your table. So we have the value and the, the average and the average income side by side. Click on the table and tick average income. Have you done that? Do you have average and average income inside your table now? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So, um, how do you measure value? How do I do what? Just close the bracket, enter. And then click on your table. Click outside the formula. Click on your table. 
Click outside. Click on your table. Now, tick average income inside your table. Tick average income. Have you tick average income? So if I change this filter now, look up. This is population. This average is showing population. The other one beside it is showing what? Income, right? Let me take income for example. Can you see they are the same thing? Take income. Take income on your own too. And check your AVG and income. Are they the same thing? Yeah. Are they the same thing? Yeah. So we just use this function called calculate to bring out only what? Income. So if I want to do my analysis based on only income, I can actually pick, let's do that together. Pick a, uh, let's just drag this visual here. This is 11.53, by five minutes we should be done. Okay, so pick this visual, this first one. Pick this first one. Yes, this first one here, pick this first one. This first visual, look at it, stack bar chart. This first one, have you done that? Now, tick country name and tick your average income. Tick country name and tick your average income. Fact, yes, in your fact. Country name in your country is a continent, sorry, your dimension. 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 Tick country name and tick your fact file. Country name in your fact file. Yes. No, country name in your countries and continents. In your countries and continent. Then average income in your value. Okay, so have you done that? You asked the question. So, what is the value of average income? Average income. AVG income. Your yeah. average income is in fact five. Yes. My own average income is in, is in countries, countries and continents. So yeah, that means you are inside that table when you are writing that function. But you can still move it. It doesn't matter. They are just functions, they can be anywhere. So if I want to move, so that if you want to move it, just click on it. If you click on the function like this, look up, look up. Average income. Average income. Put average income in your chart. Just click on the function like this. When you go to modeling tab, modeling tab, but click on it first. Have you clicked on it? Yeah. If you go to modeling tab, look up, look up first. Can you see this home table yeah. up here? Home table. So I have own table countries and continent. Yeah. So you will just change it to facts. Then it will move. Then it will move. But if you don't want to move it, it's fine. It's fine. Just know you have it somewhere. The way I move the function, right? Okay, so I click on this one. My own is under countries and continent before. So I click on the function. I go to modeling tab. Mm, yes, you need to select the function, not the table. Select the measure. See, I just selected AVG. See, I click on AVG here. I don't tick. Don't tick. Just click on it. AVG. Just click on AVG. Are you there? Then I will go to modeling tab. You will see home table here. Home table, look up, look up, look up, look up. Look at mine first. Mm. Can you see it now? So that's home table. Okay, so have you done that? Okay, so there's no really time. This is 11.56. But you can actually try expectancy on your home using the same formula. Calculate average if indicator name is equals to live expectancy. Calculate average if indicator name is equals to what? Population. So you can actually separate all the values like that on your own by checking the average that we just did. And for this top five that we agreed on, this top five, I think we've done calculate. Congratulations to us. We've drawn average. Okay, that's fine. Then we have some as default. We have some as default, but we can still write it on our own. That's fine. So we only have two out. Can't and distinct can't. So if you want to write this can't and distinct can't, you can try it on your own. And if you don't get it, you can actually send a message to your PBI user group. There will always be somebody that replies to you. I think it's only one person that asked a question last week. Who is that person? 
Only one person? Yeah, only him. Okay? So you can now always go there if you find anything difficult. Type it there. Your colleagues are here. That's why we are group. Right? There are plenty of gurus in this room. This is one guru, one guru, one guru. There is guru here too. So they can always answer you when you type something on that group. Okay? So guys, we can actually continue this by the next time. Next month, maybe you can actually try create your life expectancy population and create a dashboard on your own. Let's see your dashboard. So maybe by next month, we'll see who have the, the hot dashboard. Right? Or maybe you should just post it on LinkedIn and tag the group. Well, let's see. Do the dashboard with this, with all your separate values. Okay? So thank you very much. It's already 12 o'clock. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So just like we used to do, we are taking pictures. I'm sure we know that. Can we get him out? We are taking pictures just like we used to do. And again, this program, you know that it's not as if it's, it's, it's congestion of LBS and Debra, right? So you can also sponsor the program too, if you want to. Right? Hey guys, 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 you can also sponsor the program too. People used to donate for our, our snacks and all that. If you want to donate, you can actually do that. Just go to the user group, suggest that you want to donate for us. It's allowed. Right? So, you can also talk to us privately. So, it means next month, but let's take our picture first. Let's take pictures first. Our time is up. MBS, we are counting this thing for us. By 12 o'clock, they will chase us out. <laughs> so, let's, let's take our pictures. Any private questions coming up after? Yeah. Yes, yeah, safe, safe, safe. And because we'll be using this next month. Please save it. You continue from here. Please let's take our pictures. Uh, Ima, should we stand? Should we stay here? I think here will be better. So let's come here. Let's gather here. Okay. Let's sit down. Okay. We just join those are sitting down. Okay. So let's join them here. Let me sit down here too. Mm. I'm sitting with the group. Let me tell my hair. There are plenty of groups here. So, can we go out? Let's join them. Ladies, ladies, you don't want to join.